Hello and welcome. It's 9 o'clock. It is 11 11 2021 when all is one. It is a bright, shiny, cold November morning. And I am your guide to all the tabletop role playing game news, weather, sports, controversy, speculation, and fifth edition races we might have been confused over as we continue our deep dive into the optional, optional, at least as far as I know, they're still optional. Player character races made available to you in 5th edition D&D, and today we are looking at the third most popular race from Volo's Guide to Monsters slash Volo's Cookbooks of Monsters at 6.8%. We have the Goliaths, made famous, of course, by Travis from Critical Role number one. Uh, and any... Uh, Resemblance between Goliaths and any characters from a certain video game franchise are purely coincidental. Also, any uh, appearance, uh, you know, any comparison to a certain pro wrestler or several pro wrestlers is purely coincidental. So Goliaths are another human giant race thing wandering around in the thing because, you know, tall. Goliath traits include plus two to strength and plus one to constitution. Age, alignment, and size, of course, used to mean a thing, but now they don't, according to Wizards of the Coast anymore, though they do count as medium for the purposes of Dungeons & Dragons combat. Their base speed is 30. They have a natural proficiency in the athletic skill. They have an ability called Stone Endurance, where you can... They can occasionally shrug off injury. When you take damage, you can use your reaction to roll a d12, add your constitution modifier to that number rolled, and reduce the damage by that total. After you use this trait, you cannot use this again until you finish a rest. So you take some damage, and then you're like, I'm going to do this, because uh, otherwise I might die. You roll that d12, add your constitution modifier, which will probably be pretty decent because of that plus one to constitution, and you subtract that. So yeah, not bad. Uh, they also have an ability called Powerful Build, where they count as one size larger when determining your carry capacity and weight you can push, drag, or lift. This is the same ability we saw in the Furbolg. They also have an ability called Mountain Born, where they are resistant to cold damage and they are accumulated to high altitude, including elevations above 20,000 feet. They can also speed, speak, read, and write common and giant. So, yeah, you know. Okay, if you had dreams of playing a really, really big, heavy, professional wrestler fighter or something like that, similar to or Berserker Barbarian, they definitely look like they'd be great barbarians with that Stone's Endurance thing. Uh, the Mountainborn is is uh, original. I think it's the first time we've seen it. anything resembling a ability that allows you to survive elevations up to 20,000 feet. That's, you know, really, really tall mountains. Uh, for those of you who don't, you know, think in that terms. Uh, <clears throat> so that's a first. I don't think we've ever seen that written that way before. So good on them. Other than that, they generally just seem to be a pretty tough, hardy, take a punch type of race that whose appearance generally resembles a certain character from a video game. That's purely confidential. And several professional wrestlers. Also purely co co coincidental. Uh, so that's the Goliaths from the Volo's Guide to Every Monster slash for playable play char optional playable character races that were made available after the Player's Handbook. It comes in at third at 6.8% votes. So people really like playing really, really tall, big, tough dudes, I guess. Um, remember, these are all from Volo's. They are all optional races, as far as I know, unless that rule has changed. So if you want them in your game, great. If you don't, that's perfectly fine, as they are optional. Tune in tomorrow when we will look at number four on the list. Go ahead and guess what you think number four is. Till then, if you appreciate this content, let me know. If you never want to hear me talk about 5th edition races ever again, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Help me hit that legendary 1,000 subs goal. Till next time, I have been your acclimated to 20,000 feet guide to the general idiocy that is the internet and tabletop role-playing games, the OGGM. Thank you for being part of this experiment. I will talk to you later. Till then, 
get off my mountain. 